Spring. This word evokes the images of blooming trees, melting snow, and sunshine. But spring has many faces, especially if you live in Prague. Spring weather is by far the most unpredictable one. So the goal of our video today is to prepare you for your trip and raise your spirits for all the adventures that spring weather usually brings. Let's, as always, dissect each month starting with March. A Czech saying that describes March weather situation immediately comes to mind. Březen za kamne vlezem, which means in March we're gonna climb behind the stove. And no, it's not because Czech people sweep the dust behind their stoves in March. It's because in March it's so cold around here, everybody just tries to find the warmest place in their house and crawl underneath there. Back then it would have been a stove, nowadays it would be a radiator. But first of all, radiator doesn't rhyme, and second of all, we are saving on gas. March is generally viewed as the extension of winter. Oh, you thought it's gonna be warm when March 1st comes around? Well, not so fast. You will still wear your winter jacket that you learned to hate after long, cold months. Sorry, this is just how I imagine winter sounds like. Don't believe me that March is still cold as hell? Watch our last year's video about Smichov. We filmed it on March 7th. I'm wearing a full-blown winter outfit. Waterproof jacket, thermal wear, sweater. It must have been around 0 to 5 degrees Celsius outside this day. And it's pretty typical for March. Obviously, it can happen that there will be a few warm days in March, but you're forgetting about something, and that is the rain. Yes, of course, when you thought you are prepared for everything, you forgot that it can rain here. Make sure that your clothes and shoes are waterproof if you are traveling to Prague in March, because it can rain quite a lot. To sum it up for March, the temperature stays below 10 degrees Celsius most days. It can get warm, but it happens rarely. Okay, moving on to April. Remember the saying from the beginning of the video? I didn't tell you, but there is a second part to it. Březen za kamne vlezem, duben ještě tam budem. In March we'll climb behind the stove and in April we'll still be there. Yeah, Prague winter weather is this toxic ex that keeps coming back to you to ruin your life. Last year, in the beginning of April, we filmed our Easter video. As you can see, I'm wearing pretty much the same clothes as in March. As opposed to March, April has more sunny days but it's also windier. Regarding the weather in April, in the beginning of the month, it's usually around five degrees Celsius and it slowly warms up to 15 degrees in the end of the month. But be careful because mornings are still quite brisk and you will still need a warm jacket. But when the weather is nice, like it is today, and the sun is shining, you will see how all the locals are shedding the layers of their winter clothing and running towards the beer gardens and the riverbank and soak in all the sun. These constantly changing temperatures can hinder your decision-making regarding your outfit to wear. Now, the last question for 1 million Czech crowns. What should you wear in April for your Prague trip? If the weather is plus 5 degrees Celsius in the morning, plus 15 degrees Celsius during the day, and plus 8 degrees Celsius in the evening. A. A winter jacket. B. A sweater. C. A trench coat. D t-shirt. Okay, right. So if you wear a winter jacket, you will be fine in the morning, but then it will be too sweaty during the day. So not that one. Sweater seems like a good option, but then if it will rain, you will be just soaked wet and it's not going to work either. T-shirt, probably not that one either, because it will be fine during the day, but then in the morning and in the evening, you're going to be freezing. Okay, my answer is C, trench coat. And you are correct. You win one million crowns. <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Oh my god, what will I even do with this kind of money? Well, you won't buy an apartment in Prague, that's for sure. Layering is the key to success in April. You can see it in our Dark Secrets of Prague video. I wore a t-shirt, a thin sweater, a jacket that allowed me to take off and put back on layers of clothing depending on the weather situation. April weather is quite moody. In this case, the Czech saying didn't really stand the test of time because nowadays April weather is what May weather is like. May in Czech is květen, which comes from the word květ, which means blossom. So May is the blossoming month. We made a video last year about this tradition of coming to Petrine Hill to kiss under blooming cherry trees. Except nowadays it's hard to find a blooming cherry tree here on the May 1st because most trees start blossoming already in April. So if you're after those perfect blossoming pictures on Petrine Hill, I would rather buy tickets to Prague for April than for May. 
Okay, back to weather. May is obviously the warmest spring month and the temperature can rise all the way to 20 degrees Celsius. This is pretty much t-shirt and jeans weather, but it can get really hot in May, just like it did last year when we were shooting a video about Litom Jerzice. On May 11th, it was around 30 degrees Celsius and we were wearing shorts and eating ice cream the whole day just to cool down. If you're traveling to Prague in May, your best outfit would be sneakers, jeans, t-shirt and some light layer like a flannel or or a light jacket, something that you can easily take off and put on depending on the weather. Okay, we have one last challenge ahead of us. Let's go. To sum up, if you are traveling to Prague in March, be careful because the weather is still pretty cold so bring a lot of warm clothes and basically treat it like winter because March is basically still winter here. If you're traveling here in April, April is still quite tricky. It can be cold, it can be already warm. Make sure to check the weather before your travel begins at least two or three days before that. May is basically summer so if you're traveling here in May you should expect really warm temperatures, but again, we recommend checking the weather before you start your adventures. Thank you for watching our video and we'll see you next time. Bye!